Hey guys, time for science. We're gonna keep it related today because I thought this would be kind of cool and fun to do. Um, I found a kind of neat way that we're gonna experiment and see if it works or not. But since we made a compass rose based off of the East of the Sun, West of the Moon book, we're actually gonna make a real functioning compass. So some of the things that you're gonna need is a plastic bowl. I actually put that little dot in the center just because I want us to be able to see where the center is when we do this. So you'll need this. I've labeled east, west, north, and south on the bowl so that we can see. You will need either like some kind of cork or a stick of butter or margarine. You will need a magnet and like a sewing needle. So these are all the things that you will need. Um, it's gonna be pretty fun, I think. And I'll show you how we do everything. Just I'll be right back because I gotta go get us some water. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got our water, I've got our butter. I think I've pretty much got everything that we need here. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is add some water to our bowl because we are gonna want this to float in there. So we've got water in our bowl. We've got it labeled north, south, east, and west. And, now we need our little sewing needle. So I've got one of those. Um, please be safe if you're using one of these that belongs to your parent. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to magnetize this little metal piece, okay? So to do that, we're going, remember north is up, so we're going to stroke our needle in the northern direction. So on top of your magnet, you're gonna stroke it north. We're gonna do it about 10 times, so I'm gonna count. You'll count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One for good measure. And be careful, I don't want you to actually po accidentally poke yourself. I just did, and it doesn't feel very good when that happens. So we are magnetized. You're gonna need a little pad of butter here. So a pad is about that much. And what I want you to do with your little butter knife is just make a little indentation so that we can sit our needle in there. So it's gonna go like that. Do you see our needle? Now what we're gonna do is we are going to float that in the water and hopefully if it's magnetized, I'm gonna bring this up so you guys can see, but it looks like our needle is pointing north and it's moving around a little bit. The butter is making it float, and then the needle is magnetized, and it's kind of moving around because it's trying to decide where north is. But anyway, um, I thought that was a pretty fun, cool, and easy experiment with just things that we could have around the house. So uh, let me know how it works out for you guys. What did you observe? Remember, put on your scientist brain. We're looking, what do we see? What do we notice? What did you learn from this experiment? Would you do something differently next time? Would you try using a cork instead of butter? Anyway, I hope this was fun. Happy Friday. I'm glad I got to share all this fun stuff with you and east of the sun, west of the moon. And you guys have an amazing weekend. See ya.